Hello, hello, hello. Yep and Yoshi, I hope you guys are doing well. Having a wonderful Friday slash Saturday. Ugh. You know, I might just be ready for the Fire Emblem Marathon on time. Knock on wood. We will see. <laughs> What today? No fire emblem. Fire emblem less. I hope you are ready after the whole month it took. Yeah, you know, beat all those games and like. <laughs> 30 day period. Oh, what was I thinking? Um, I really, I really did think I was gonna be. What was that? 14 games in a. But but here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. After the first three games, we were on pace. <laughs> Look, I was tricked, bamboozled. Really? Well, I mean, like, kind of, you know. I met you on March 27th. Well, you see, we had, we had, um, oh God, this, is this math going to work? You streamed FE1 starting February 6th? Was I already that far behind? The first three games were like four days, five days, and four days. <laughs> Was I already a month behind? <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, gamers. This doesn't look good. <laughs> Tales of Arise F E one on February sixth. Oh yeah, shit, we were we were not we were not moving. Why do I always think that the first three games were so short? Well, they were short. They were like five days still. Five, seven, five compared to 39, 42. <laughs> oh my God. This is such a interesting graph um you have notes oh I, I i don't know why i doubt the notes i just part of me part of me wants to believe that we were on pace for at least one game <clears throat> yeah, say forgot to readjust my camera back down I know we've only known each other a month, but I'm certain another 20 or more you can learn to trust my notes more. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just because it's only been a month. Also, hey, Sundown, I hope you're doing well. You look amazing. I feel like an eight-year-old. <laughs> But here we are. We do what needs to be done. Oh, 
Also, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, the sound balancing is something else. Handsome professional like this. I appreciate that. Hold on. Hello, Angel. If I was your child, I'd be an awfully ugly witch, wouldn't I? Yours is a face only a mother could love, and one I could never forget. If only I could remember where it was. Ah, fine looks good. <laughs> no quarrel. You're in no position to decide that. See, my infernal partners love my ability to eliminate your kind. I figure your sacrifice would shut them up for a while. Nope, it's gone. There you go. I think this is where I stopped playing the first time. I know it's a difference of culture. Well, I still appreciate it. It's nice of you to say. Were you just bouncing? Why are we bouncing? How do I dodge? Like that. There we go. Oh my God. I haven't played her. It's like I forgot how to do this for a second. I might just take the loss. Come on, just get me. There you go. Okay. Um. I mean, oh, well, you're missing out. My face is nice and warm. It's almost like you've been playing a weird base game for a week. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's almost like that. It messes with me. I want to love Bayo One, but I'm awful at force button mashing. What? How, didn't Mario Party teach you? I remember very clearly. I learned the button mash because of the fucking Donkey Kong rope cl rope climbing game in Mario Party Seven. I wanted to beat my dad at it, so I learned how to button mash. Oh, also, Flyer, did you make a, or Taylor, did you make a flyer or anything for the finale? Like you said, yes, actually, I asked Soy to. Hold on. Soy did for me. It was very nice of her. Um, let me, let me pull that up. I think I linked it in, I think I put it in Discord, but yeah, I did. Let me, let me pull this up. I also tweeted it. Taylor used Twitter. Sorry, X. <laughs> I lose all the button mash for me. Ah, okay. That's fair. I just, I couldn't lose back then. I, I couldn't take losing. That's not it. Let's try that. There we go. No, it's X. You don't understand. Regardless, <laughs> muse aside for a second. So I did a really good job. I really appreciate it. She found the font that looked really good and um, put everything together and I'm, I'm really happy with it.
We're looking good. Really? You really have to just kill him? Oh, okay, well. Come on. I need to be witch time to even deal damage to him. You're still up. Come on. excited for tomorrow i had to be going though i have something to do before the hour mark no problem enjoy your events i hope you have a wonderful time excited to see you tomorrow also hey nameless commentator i hope you're doing well i think yeah this is definitely the level i quit on when i first played Probably because I was trying to just hit the enemies without actually... Oh, Lava Flow. Without actually doing any of the uh, parries or dodges. And that was... Oh, ow. That didn't go well. is this thing fairness second sphere we got a sonic adventure escape sequence it is jamming though i don't think i like the sword to be honest give me health Hello? No? Okay. Ow, fire. God damn. Walk on again. There we go. I love how there's a little targeting reticle on his forehead. All right, that's how I do that. Come on. This fucker. Here we go. Thank 
keeps biting me. Oh. Weird dice game has me screwed up on my action combat. Who would have who would have thought, right? <laughs> there we go. I say, geez, I need the fucking. Ooh, item. Oh, are there? Don't start giving me random treasures to collect. I don't need that. We've done the gem hunt. Bonk. There you go. Piece of an angelic hymn's gold LP is evenly or evenly spit cleanly in half. Did not look cleanly. Now, man, I love lava sequences so much. It's one of my favorites. <sighs> You're going to want to collect those to happen. Here's the beauty of it. We'll just collect what I want. How about that? Honestly, a valid solution. I appreciate your willingness to find solutions with us. <laughs> 11 out of 10, honestly. Enter the gates of hell. Not here now. Okay, let's try this again. What's the point of slow-mo? If... I just need to beat the shit out of it? No? Maybe? I'm an idiot. Um... At least I don't take too much damage for being an idiot. Hey there! How goes Bayonetta? Which platform are you on? I am on PC. I'm <laughs> I'm playing with Xbox prompts on a PS5 controller. No, I'm not going to be able to jump through that. We got there in the end. Oh, we're doing well virtual. Or virtue.
<laughs> Shin the go go, baby. Doing well, tired, but off the hook from work, and that's. So, so, oh, hey. You know, we take that where we can get it. Why have we not got a beautiful Joe collection? Have come free, my boy. Back and putting together whatever Resident Evil remake they're up on next. Oh my God, what the heck? Um, oh boy. Son of a bitch. Gaming. <laughs> yeah, anyone who lives here? That's a good point. Wasn't this like a whole ass like town and city people were living in? What's up with them now? Fuck them. Umbra witches, controllers of the dark power. The ways of the di their discipline were actually quite varied. Breathing, movement, medicine, and tactics were joined in the Middle Ages by the training and the operation of heavy weapons, culminating in a curriculum whose total breadth and in or intensity are hard to ascertain. This training forged both the body and the soul, honing each witch into a vessel capable of withstanding the rigors of the magical arts. And allowing one to begin to interact with other dwelling as dwellers of the magical realm. The interaction with the world of spirits lies at the very core of magic. To put these dwellers of the magical realm into layman's terms, they most closely fit the common conception of demons. Developers developing demon-like powers. It seems like this was one of the reasons these women were these women were burdened with sad fate, always living in history's shadows. I have been able to gain no further solid information regarding the magical arts, as the witch clan has long since been annihilated and the memory forgotten. The residents of this town detest them with all their hearts. To allude to their existence is quite taboo. Yet the key to unlocking the witches remains still mis or st mystery still remains. In Vi or Vigrid, the man held up by many to be a paragon of the faith continues to seek out any remaining witches. Are the witches once thought to be wiped from the earth still among us? Oh. Um. If, if they are, how <laughs> Have they survived this long? What do they know? And where on earth could they be hiding? Finally, I have obtained scraps of a document that appears to lay out another elementary principle of the magical arts. I am um, unable to decipher the writing on the document, but it seems to describe a martial arts technique known as dodge offset. I pray it will be of use to someone, so I included it within these notes. Oh, cool. Nice of them. Hmm. Great. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. Ow. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Come on, please. Yes. Nice. 
The witch time is very kind once you figure it out. Just constantly being able to dodge all these. Why are we shooting that? Shoot him. There you go. We just we just shot our way through lava. Of course. My bad, my bad. That's that's how you walk. Come on, Mr. Fire, dude. I just want to have a little chat. Engage which which time successfully. Ten times in a row, and then I immediately hit a lava spurt. At least I know there's a perfect platform difficulty now. The Grid Catacombs. Yo, this is what this place looked like the whole time. Maybe, uh, maybe it's always been a shithole. Floor. The magic arts of the Umbra. Their true significance is best understood in the context of how the Umbra were able to use this magic. Via direct contact with demons of Inferno, it is thought that these witches underwent strict training in order to master the various techniques. However, the truth is colored by the fact that the witches left people awestruck and were greatly revered. The true root of their power was none other than their ability to take unbelievably strong demon energy and bend it to their will. Using it freely, the witches' directly, direct contact saw them reaching into the heart of in the, in, in, uh, reaching into the heart of Inferno's darkness and summoning the beasts that dwelled there. Drawing out their incredible magic and destructive powers, the witches under contract with these demons were able to exercise powers far beyond any that could be obtained by mere mortals. To the extent that some may even term their powers as aggressive or brutal. It was thanks to these powers that the witches boasted some awesome force in battle. From the Vigridian religious perspective, those living in the human world find interaction with other realms to be incredibly difficult. Residents of Inferno also find it impossible to manifest themselves in the human world. This is why witches require some sort of catalyst to summon demons into the human world, channeling the spirit via the medium. The catalyst most often used by witches was their hair. It is well accepted that hair has many uses in the magical arts, and the witches called their use of their own hair the Wicked Weave. <laughs> it was said to have been used not just to summon demons, but also to summon magical items, as well as forming the witches' uniforms. I would also like to touch briefly on the, the despair these women must have felt. The grain, to gain the incredible power afforded to them, they were forced to trade their souls to the demons of Inferno. With, uh, within the trinity of realities, it is believed that the deceased find their souls sent to heaven in an endless cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. However, witches were met with only a single possible fate, death, followed by endless torment and inferno. Once one had set upon the path of the magical arts, there lay nothing but the harsh reality that there is no turning back. Despite that fact, it was a path desired by a never-ending stream of believers. How these women captured so many hearts, minds, and unimaginable imaginations remain unknown. Hey, Redbeard. It's the re just a regular Italian underground. The Italians are well known for their lava-filled hellfire pits. Have I ever read Dante? I knew a guy. So, no, I haven't. I know what you're referring to. I knew a guy in high school, not 
Loved him. Not the brightest guy. Loved him's also a bit strong. Um, I was acquainted with him. And the thing he did that I will never forget was Honors English had to read Dante's Inferno. And so all of them were reading Dante's Inferno and he wasn't. That was an AP English suite, a different set of books. And I was like, hey, aren't you going to read the book? I know it's like a pretty, from what I've heard, it's like kind of dense. You kind of have to like sit down and really like read through it. He's like, nah, I'm good. I said, oh. <laughs> when I played the game, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> he failed the exam. <laughs> There's an ancient portal like object here. There may be even more evidence of this town that ancient civilizations created in the catacombs below. Poor guy never stood a chance. Oh, thanks, Stream Elements. Hmm. What is this? Resident Evil 5? Where's the where's the tower with the lasers on it? The game that opens up with a literal boss fight against the yeah that one the part when dante went into arena and beat everyone in the sixth circle of hell up with his scythe it was quite a gripping part of the book <laughs> i guess he assumed that it was some sort of like action i couldn't even tell you man i couldn't tell you what they assumed hey bommy mommy The only thing I know about that game is I was, I asked a buddy of mine, I was like, should I play that? He was like, no. <laughs> I was like, all right. He's like, just play God of War. Seems like the strange hourglass is able to turn back the sands of time. What once was broken is now whole again. I wonder if the power stays true in other dimensions as well. <laughs> well, give it back to me. Can't wait for you to play God of War. I'm excited for it. You don't even care enough to check if the book that was written in the Renaissance was different than the modern video game. I don't know what to tell you. I asked them, I said, they don't... Isn't the game considerably different? Oh, wait, don't worry. We'll be fine. All right. Not your parent, you know, like. Oh, I thought. Well, I figured if I used it again, it would do it on something different. <laughs> They tried to advertise it by staging fake. That's so cringe. They create fake Christian protests to make people think the religious community was up in it, up in arms about it. Everyone really, really wants to be Dead Space 2, huh? <laughs> also, can't wait for Ragnarok to come to PC. We've got another year or so.
What a weird marketing campaign. <laughs> The only thing I know about Dead Space 2's marketing campaign is its whole thing was like literally we are so violent your parents don't want you to play this. And it was like, yeah, that worked. I'll never unsee that fucking scene with the needle. It's the only scene I know about Dead Space. <laughs> Hold on. The game depicts Cleopatra as a giant with nipples constantly shooting unbaptized babies at you as cannon father. What? what? <laughs> they were cooking and whatever they cooked, they burnt. want to play three with someone love dead space one two is i excited to play the remaster of one i'm pretty sure yeah i was about to say isn't there the remake of one one day i go around to playing dead space i mean it's on it's on the list i figure i'll probably enjoy it I thought I was just going to jump straight into the lava there. Is there a boulder for me to punch? Or a Boros. So it's just a collection of rooms to know <clears throat> spatial relation to each other. They remake they model the entire ship and made sure. Oh, really? That's cool. And they put enough time and money into making it full. Yeah, apparently they did. Three's fine. It's not a bad shooter, but it's not a horror game. Is it better than Resident Evil 6? That's all I'm looking for. I don't, I mean, I really do think Resident Evil 6 is going to be the worst game I've ever played for a long time. For a long, long time. In the grid's long protracted history, there was an, once an enormous Colosseum built facing the sea. It remains today largely intact. According to the record, the Colosseum was not used for martial contests or other games. But it is an altar for the worship of one of the era's gods, as being known as being known as Forti, Fortitudo. Even today, as the urban functions of the city move to Isle of the Soul, the Colosseum holds a special place in the religious beliefs for the, of those who worship the Laguna. Even though the winds of time have long since destroyed the road leading to the structure, Forcing a treacherous passage through the cliffs, the stream of those making a pilgrimage to the Colosseum is endless. Um, it's interesting interactions between the characters you play with someone and talking Discord while playing, but that's 
like the gimmick the entire game is based off of that oh did they cut most of them <laughs> they cut the main feature the game was supposed to be built around give me that I'm bringing tears of blood they really want me to look at the Col Colosseum all right yeah sure I will The idea was a lot of scenes or enemy spawns would play out differently for most players to make it seem like a co-op partner is crazy. Oh, what a day. I feel like you'd have to make that really re so right. When do you guys remember Outriders? That Square Enix looter shooter game that came out and like I think flopped. Well. I have two buddies and we always play games that when they come out and they're bad I always play like stuff like that with them usually and one of the biggest issues of that game well there are two there are multiple big issues the worst issue was you couldn't see the bullets that were being shot at you so you would start taking damage and you wouldn't know if it's because of like an environmental thing or because an enemy was shooting at you because the bullets and the sound of enemy gunfire was glitched, so you couldn't do it. So that sucked. That was a big negative. That's why we never finished the game. But the other thing was... Enemies lagged really, really badly. And I don't know... I couldn't explain to you any of the, like, dev stuff. But it worked out kind of like that. Where, like, one of my friends would be sitting there and he'd be like, Why is no one shooting at this guy? And we'd be like, What dude? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And they'd be like, this guy, he's beating my ass. Kill him. And we'd be like, man, there's no one there. And so I feel like you really got to put that together well, or it's just like, oh, the game's broken. It doesn't work. Why did they make a Square Enix account to play the demo? It was bad. It was not a good game. <laughs> he didn't miss out on anything. We always talk about beating it, and then I just go, guys, I don't think I'm strong enough to beat it. What am I doing? Um, I had to look it up. Apparently half the story of a three gets cut if you don't play co-op since the scenes only play with the player two character. That's so stupid. That's unintelligibly dumb. Am I crazy? Why would you cut half the game out? <laughs> you wasted your time with three. You're not. All right. Oh, uh, you know, hey, you. Someone can always be like, "Hey, I played this really cool game like that." Hold on. Kind of wants stiletto. Slash into an opponent with incredible quickness and deliver a devastating thrust attack. Press LS toward an enemy and then twice quickly. Plus Y. 
RB and pressing towards... Slide, heal first up to opponents from long distances. Can't afford that one. Charge into an opponent at short range using your back. A wicked punch will also be summoned. An insult to injury by slamming your heel into a downed enemy. A wicked kick will also be summoned. Do the splits and then spin your outstretched legs in this lunging kick attack. For a minute there, hold down RT. Light the fires and kick your enemies with this mid-air dash kick. Press B immediately after executing a jump. While jumping and then you're... Okay. Give me... Witch Twist? Launch into the air with a spinning punch can also be performed in mid-air. Give me Afterburner Kick. Let me try Afterburner Kick. Okay. Hold on. Oh! oh! Interesting. Oh, but the cinematics. <laughs> Weird. Open up a magical portal, warping above opponent's head and deliver a devastating kick. Time kick the video game. I'm gonna try Stiletto. It's a little slower, but it's a heavy attack. No, it's not. The light. Interesting. I'll take that. <laughs> oh. Played a single player for like three hours and dropped it, but it wasn't awful, just not very memorable. It's too bad because I feel like I feel like Dead or Dead Island. Whoa! Not Dead Island. Um Dead Space. It's supposed to be a pretty, like, good survival horror game. Hold on. You again. And here I thought I'd seen the last of you. What do you two do? I'm sure you'll be more than hospitable to me this time around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot to mention one of the reasons I hunt your kind. You're much too ugly not to put out of your misery. <laughs> Mark off, feather face. What a game. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Dante reference? Ow. Whoopsies. 
Yo, Yakuza health bars, Yakuza health bars. Ow. Is this just the arena now? No, oh, I have to go over here. Suplex. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, he is not chilling. Ow, 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 let me. No. He looks so stubby when he actually stands. Yeah. It would take me a couple tries, I had to say. I'm even getting fucked over in the lot. Why is that what you say? This isn't like an easy fight. Guarantee this is going to be a couple trier for me. Heal. I, me thinks. He thinks this has been going pretty well. Bonk.
Repair! You do have health items? Indeed, I got one left. I'm not reading that next one. It's too risky. Please tell me to that one. Oh my god. Was getting nervous. Oh, and there goes the other head. We'll just shoot you if you're gonna keep complaining with your fucking head off. Next up, gunshots. Gunshots a la Red Dead. <laughs> oh my god, fucking destroyed him. I love dark aeons. Hey, backward. <laughs> you sound like T, but the person I see looks about 10 years younger than him. Yeah, I'm his little brother. <laughs> yeah, what Redbeard said. <laughs> it's spoken like a truth. Oh boy. Nearly so ugly when you're screaming. Foretold. Explain yourself. 
Yoink. He's eating lollipop, yes. It's the bad guy from Hades. Oh, man. How many Dante's Inferno references can we make before I feel obligated to play the game? The resurrection was already spoiled for us. Now, this is Jubilus. God damn it. <laughs> we did not do very good. Fate is it? Fate? Oh, is that a di I thought we were just continuing to make Dante's Inferno references. What's fate? Hey, hold on, let's do a quick Google, actually. An Atari style religious horror game. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. 94. What? It's been noted. I think the next scary game I play is going to be Code Veronica. And then 8. RE8, sorry. I should clarify. Hey, check this out. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> <in a> game <laughs> once. <laughs> it's, look, I mean, he... That's a sign. We have to now. What are you buying? Seeker of magic. In other words... Where the hell am I? I'd better have got frequent flyer miles for that flight. All right. Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. As overseers of humanity, the Lumen Sages and Umber Witches were both incredibly powerful, each fearing each other and strictly prohibiting interrelations as a way to maintain the balance of power. Upon the annual occasion of a total solar eclipse, only the selected elders of each clan were allowed to meet with the other group to conduct negotiations. I suppose that each clan, drawing their power from the sun and the moon respectively, must have held the eclipse as the most special of celestial phenomenon. The two clans, inexorably linked but opposite, like positive and neg negative, Solidified this relationship in their interconnected mountain hideaways. The Witch's Sanctuary of Crescent Valley Valley, and the Sage's Sacred Sunrise Valley. Located in an inaccessible and treacherous region, these areas were aligned with countless rows of stone monuments dedicated to each clan's dead. In large statues depicting a witch and sage stood at the center of the shared area, demarcating the border between each clan's territory. Each statue has its back turned to the other, and the vis their visages as they're rejecting any human intrusion, stir intense feeling of discomfort within one's soul. Atop these statues, the clans met for their yearly consort, giving their pl this place a mysterious but interesting ambience. 
These valleys were not just home to memorial tombs. They were also home to training facilities and light in the dark arts. Held as sacred ground by both clans, today the statue of the Umber Witches is a truly gruesome sight as a giant spear has pierced the woman's chest. If it was shoved through the statue during uh, which, during witch's age of persecution, it would have required unspeakable power from the woman sage who carried out the act. That. Probably around here. B. Stop that. Got him. All right. You've been naughty. You've been naughty. You're platinum. <laughs> Every once in a while, I have my moments. There's a powerful barrier here, but something on the other side is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. So what I need is a wind crest. Oh, Jesus. Mm. What the fuck are you? Oh, it's the enemy from Metal Gear Solid, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. <laughs> Grace and glory. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, all damage will be acquired post dodge. I can't even. Okay, well, we just have to hit you perfect now. Yep, that's not perfect. That's not gonna. That's not gonna be a good way to go perfect. Fuck these guys, by the way. Yeah, for real? Don't worry, this time we got him. Me just trying to do a torture attack. Yes. Oh. Smush. Say, all I gotta do is an enemy by jumping on top of them that was easy hey juice this takes you back to your 2009 or 2010 xbox 360 days good choice 
Zenata in DK448, a piece of Angelic Kim's golden LP. It is merely a piece of the full record. It said Sonnet, not Sonata. I don't know why I decided it was. Maybe it's say Sonata. Maybe I'm second guessing myself too late here. <laughs> I've often seen a girl without lipstick, but lipstick without a girl? Most curious, isn't it, Cheshire? What's also most curious is how a child like you has kept afloat in this town. The name is Luca! And don't you think it's a little strange to be worried about my well-being? Sure, the Festival of Resurrection is... He's security. so quiet. Thing only happens once every 500 years. Can you blame them? Besides, when you look as good as I do, security isn't a problem. But a killer like you, on the other hand, I'm sure you've found a way. That little girl. I've seen her somewhere. Don't go freaking out on me. We both know you came here for something. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's going to be for you to get away from me and what you've done. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess. You want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then, perhaps you can appeal to my... Generosity. <laughs> Still alive. You may be standing right in front of me, but you're definitely not living in reality. Which is a shame. Because the truth is always going to be the truth. All I see when I look at you, the real you, is the truth. The truth is, you killed my father. My name is Inigo Montoya. They can't reject the truth. The truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth will allow me to expose you to the world. Then I'll have won. And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Because I'm not a heartless witch like you. Whoa, whoa, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Kill me in plain sight? Go ahead. It would only prove everything I've said about you. Well, that and sadden the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire and Trish and Sylvia and Amy. Oh, you don't want to piss her off, let me tell you. Hell hath no fury. Lord. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Fearless. Half the game butt naked. She can't get much more exposed. Oh, great.
Hell of an attack, that one. Trish, Amy, Sick Buck. By the way, never mentioned this game, but those ladies you mentioned, those are. Oh, his cats and his dog. Ah, okay. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's actually hilarious. Oh. And Claire Redfield and Trish from DMC. And the other ones are rep. It's a protagonist of Okami. Yeah, right. Platinum did make Okami, didn't they? Ow. Bit rude. Okami's honestly the best sell of the game. I refuse to argue this. I don't know if you would need to. The Umber Witches, Witches Sacred Crescent Valley is said to contain enormous relics hearkening back to the valley's place as a training ground of the witch, or in the Witch's supernatural age. The long bridge that snakes between the cavernous ravines of the valley, stone circles hinting at celestial principles, training chambers where death was wagered in hopes of polishing one's skill in life, all of these are depiction, depicted in the tattered records I have obtained. I know not if they ever truly existed. However, the magnificent appearance of the witch statue in the distance seems to indicate that the legends passed down through history are, in fact, real. Amongst these were numerous, numerous artifacts. The most mysterious are known as heavenly manipulations. I've already described how the Umber Witches drew their power from the darkness and the Lumen Sages from the light. However, I have not mentioned how these powers were at their greatest during the full moon or at the peak of the sun's ascent. The two groups created the heavenly manipulation manipulators to affect the movement of the moon and the sun, and these devices played in role played a role in the clan's most important of ceremonial rites. If stories to be believed, the clans could affect even the ways of the cosmos at will. The powers of the witch and sage were not common knowledge, although as overseers of history, one could imagine that they must have had appropriately powerful abilities, making their ultimate destruction an even more ironic end. Second best after Twilight Princess. Um, you're the goddess of the sun. Sun goddess who's also a wolf and has to save the world from demons. Watch Soy play through Okami. It looked like a night game. It seems that the witches use this study to study the stars, even though there's rest in places, it is well constructed. There we go. Love Twilight Princess, play that so many times. I watched my brother play Twilight Princess to about the 40 minute mark, and then we stopped. As mentioned, I've seen so many Zelda intros. <laughs> really to be well, no, it's kind of it's kind of a I don't know how much you know about this, but my um one of my favorite memes of myself with games but actually 
besides, oh, I've played this game already. I know it happens with uh, RE7. That was probably one of my favorite moments in our stream um, where I realized I had seen the tutorial of the game and thought it was the halfway mark. That was pretty good. That was pretty funny. The other thing that is, I think, equally as funny is how many of the Zelda games I have played, but not actually, like, played. I mean, simply opened them up, got to the point where... You walk around for the first time, you're through the tutorial, Skyward Sword when you get to the ground, and gone, cool, I'll play this later, and have never opened the game again. <laughs> the only Zelda game I've beaten is... Um... Random Hourglass. I beat that one six times. Whee! I don't know if I want to hit him. Probably not. I love all the cat paws on the sides of the screen trying to draw me into the underworld. Oh, great! Lovely! Tell me, tell me I get to face these guys again. Oh, you shouldn't have. Really? No, I dodged many times in a row. Too early. God damn it. God damn it. I fucking hate these things. Never tell a Zelda fan Fire Emblem Hourglass and I want to it. I love that game. I will die on this hill. I loved that game. Fuck my Phantom Hourglass haters. They will kill you. Yeah, I know it's not supposed to, especially because I've done, I've had people go like, you haven't even played Wind Waker? And I'm like, no. Well, I, I, I just said. <laughs> What's so hard about that? To understand, I've beaten the game I had for my mobile console, the DS, because I would play it on road trips. It's why I have 500 hours in Pokemon Emerald. Besides Pokemon Emerald being just the greatest Pokemon game made. Hey, Soy. Smush. Ow. Ow, ow, hey! I know you! What the fuck is that? Fucking get out of here, man.
<laughs> the third, the third, get, get out of here. <laughs> Never mind. So you, you, you can leave now. The Great Zelda Marathon will not contain the CDI games. Fucking love Emerald. I more ignore the main conflict being entirely caused by color blindness. How goes Bane? That goes well. You mean Beho Mommy? You can never be fit of me. Will contain Link's crossbow training? I've actually considered doing Link's crossbow training as part of it for like one stream because I think it'd be really funny based on the number of people who have asked me to play Link's crossbow training. <laughs> A piece of an angelic holy yeah 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 that should be four yep yes help rock we do have the wemo bar yeah we're only playing new blood as well If you have a proper controller, the first two wouldn't be that bad. Nope, I'm gonna be playing on my mouse and keyboard. You get fan patches that makes them like actual video games, so that's neat. You know, I appreciate. I appreciate people's. Um. No, I don't. Why are they doing that? Why would they do that to themselves? Why waste their time like that? Beginning of the 15th century, the whole of Europe had been swept by madness, a tragic event unprecedented in the whole of human history, the witch hunts. As a result, the dark clan of Umber witches were wiped from the pages of history forever. Working at the behest of the powers that be and making use of their ancient magical arts, the witches watched over the passage of time within the human world. Or at least they did, until suddenly being swept up in the waves of persecution and finally crumbling away under the pressure of the people's harsh reclamations. The women's sorrowful blood-stained tears crystallized in the bright gemstones, and according to a Vigridian legend, are said to be scattered everywhere. These stones, filled with uh, feeling, yeah, their feelings of regret, are known as Umbran Tears of Blood. To this day, the people of Vigrid, or, yeah, Vigrid, believe that should one of a hundred of these stones be brought together as one, Enormous calamity shall befall the land, yet no one has actually seen one of these gemstones, the ultimate witchly souvenirs. They must be found for you by a crow, a beast whose heart lies in resonance with the departed witches. These crows act as a witch's loyal servants, protecting um, their tears from falling into human hands. <clears throat> a hundred, you say? Broken moon pearl. Full moon pearl. Taming this increases my magic limit. Nice. Stepping on it gives hints of some sort of faint movement. I mean, so obviously I have to jump on it from above. Let me, let me start with that. I just want to break the pots. <clears throat> Jormungandr's staff interior. Oh, well, that just goes up. Like stairs. Mm. 
I like the rat. Or door. Principalities. This is getting out of hand. Now there's two of them. All right, just like my the water in my water bottle, I am partially frozen, so I'm going to go take an intensely hot shower. I'll be back in a bit. Enjoy your warm shower. Sword? Girl, are you prepping yourself for the Great Zelda Marathon? Um, unfortunately... Breaking pots has been ingrained in my blood ever since I played a Dark Souls game for the first time. If you go to heaven, you become an armored bird thing and then get bondage and thrown onto a guillotine by a sexy witch. What? Oh, I was about to say, you said game. I thought that said gamer for a second. I went, you tell me one gamer. <laughs> That's posting that argument. <laughs> so it wants me to do what? I wish I was partially frozen. Move to my apartment. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> nice and warm there. Okay, a bit rude. I say that upward strike attack's about to be huge here. Apartment is sixty-five. How does Bayo is or how Fjord's our outfit is made of hair would feel gross as hell. I'm gonna be honest. Strongest of sacrifices, or the the largest? What's the fucking thing? The greatest of sacrifices requires the strongest of wills. That's how it's got to be, you know. Power source preventing it from re. Oh, here we go. Yay! <clears throat> Yay, these things!
Oh my god, I'm so excited to see him again. I'm getting better at fighting him. Mush. I don't use heat. I'm pulling some 1925 electrical into a while out. You just have a nice little, I have a nice little heat bar down there. Ha! Mommy. <laughs> okay. I understand. I thought I found a secret. Alas. <laughs> Open the door. There you go. <laughs> But alas, it was simply the correct direction to progress. Enter the Alfheim? Yeah, of course. Defeat all the angels before the time expires using the limited number of kicks and punches. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh, I missed. Oh, well, it's over. Failure? Oh, I know. Yeah, never mind. This is a bad... I don't like this secret. <laughs> that looks like something you figure out when you're, like, good at the combat. Fucking wind, man. All right. The witch graves within the city. The grave is littered with the legacies of an ancient age. Amongst these are the stone coffins used to bury departed witches. Along with their fellow overseers of history, the Lumen Sages, the Umbra witches use their incredible powers to repel any intrusion upon the grid. Upon these auspices, the witches abode by the terms of their netherworldly contracts. And upon parting with the physical world, the strongest of the witches were deified as guardians. Buried in stone coffins throughout the town. These stone coffins were sealed tight, and it was said that only those with knowledge of a witch's magic could open them. Even during the witch hunts, when the coffins were subject to attempted demolition, not a single soul was able to peer into the contents within. According to one theory, the contract with their demon master stipulates that upon leaving this earth, a witch's soul nor body can remain. It is said Umbran burial customs were developed for that very reason. The women would bury their loved ones in treasured stone coffins to lessen the pain of those destined for Inferno, even if the effect was slight. Today, unable to break the magic seal upon the coffins, the Lumen Sage seal of the sun has been placed upon the stone sarcophagi as a counterweight. If by chance the power of the witches were to return to the world, they would be prevented from opening their coffins due to the seal. 
This is a clear indicator of the sort of persecution these women were subjected to during the witch hunts. While the whereabouts of the witch tombs is outlined above, the location of the tombs for the women sages remain unknown. For in the remaining records, they had taken up final resting places with the Umbra in secluded region known as the Crescent and Sunrise Valleys. It is said that Lumen Sages, who conducted their duties not in the darkness but the light, rest peacefully in their valley after departing from this world. Finally, there are rumors that somewhere in Vigrid, research is underway to extract the spirit energy from the departed witches. It seems that the fate of the Umbra Witch and Lumen Sage is yet to be decided. Oh. Raining. Yeah, it do be doing that. Oh, secret! Oh, I guess I'm not jumping back down now. Come on. Come on! Well, that was rude. What the hell? What the fuck? I jumped up to wall jump and it said no wall jump. Give me that. Hey, we got it. All the places pieces fit together to form an angelic hymn's gold LP. Some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. Here we go. There we go. Spear inspired. An inch of rain tonight, on average, equal to 13 inches of snow. Oh, shoveling. Used to have to do that. And it was some. Um, not my favorite. I love this crow thing. I see. Gold medal, I'll take it. Well, hold on. What's that? Apparently something I can't go to. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. 
Let me go whip some things into shape for you. This gives me weapons, right? This took a bit to pound into shape, but the workmanship's solid. Now, go put this thing to good Oh, use. it's the things I keep getting attacked with, but my own. And they are so expensive. And say <laughs> Okay. Now you can be the annoying jackass. Let's go! For the calm, cool price of $120,000. Hold down RT. I figured you get halos on a second playthrough. How I always play these games. I'm collecting lore. They call me the lore man. Look at that. More lore. Get ready. I'm reading. <clears throat> there is a place beloved by wanted men and rogues where money and power rule all. It is where I have established my office. But those who give this place by its... Those who call this place by its given name are instantane, instantly identified as newcomers. As the tired hands of this rat hole all call it by a single name only. The dump. Bloody battles and dirty disputes over money are an everyday occurrence here. And the concept of concern for one's fellow man was long since lost on the dump's denizens. What the people here are after, what they love to see, is not of this world. They thirst for the uproar only the occult can inspire. The appearance of a specter, a man being devoured by a demon. These are the snacks they eat as they drink and cavort in the dump's numerous watering holes. It is this place that I have come on my pilgrimage in search of a grasp on reality. The dump is a wretched hive for all. The dump is a wretched hive for all sorts of scum and villainy, home to everyone from black market businessmen to informants, devil hunters in between. But among them all, one man is particularly strange. His name is Rodan, proprietor of the Gates of Hell bar. His front may be that of a bartender, but rumor has it he's actually an arms dealer. Of course, if a man such as myself were to visit his establishment, there is no way all of his secrets would be laid bare. However, I can tell just by the air around him that he is a dangerous man. Unlike the standard assortment of thugs in this place, his is a sort of danger on a truly different level. According to my colleagues, if one carries enough clout here, Rodan is known to provide a gun or blade should the fee prove satisfactory. That is all I have been able to wring out of the people here. There are also rumors... That if you enter the bar from some sort of hidden entrance, he will provide you things that money cannot buy. Or so saith the gossips in this occult-obsessed town. They even go so far as to say these things are not made of via normal means, but are weapons made from materials available only in Inferno. In the dump, there are enough rumors to rot one's ears, and if I hadn't seen the fresco of the Trinity of Realities, a staple of the Vigridian religions on Rodan's wall, I would have dismissed talk of him as nothing more than these tall tales. In any case, if I am truly, if I am able to fully investigate this man's secrets, I am sure, I will surely be able to obtain the truth I so desperately seek. However, aimless sniffling around in this town is a great way to wind up dead. I'll have to be prudent and not leave things a chance. Cool. I've never seen a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. This is fucking reference simulator. I kind of love it. Or dance the man. Punch. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. Hey, look! It's another boss fight! Okay, I... 
deserve that. Well, if I hit that correctly, it was an accident. Imagination. You and I once fought for the jewel upon the crown of the Umbra throne. And now that you've returned, my sleeping beauty, it is time to finish that fight. You're shitting on DMC here. Man. I need to bite the bullet and just play DMC too. Here they go. Hello there. Oh my god. Oh, no. Not the combos. No, stop. I could make one.
hit me with that fucking disappear. That was rude. Ow. Nah, I'm dead. DC 1 3 are fantastic. Unfortunately, let's take you 80s in this game. I like DMC 1. I think this game's much better. I'd be interested to see DMC 2 and 3. I'm a little excited for the Western DMC. Just from a silliness perspective. Do this again. Yeah, Devil May Cry DMC. That's the one. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. thing with DMC, DMC to me is that the devs, the PlayStation mascot fighter, were forced by Capcom to use that Dante in it. <laughs> oh my god. some pretty beautiful lore the stupid name devil may cry devil may cry but overall wasn't that bad i did fuck me i just know it's silly My fucking Virgil here. Man, I'm being fucking slapped around. Nope, I'm dead. That's it. Fuck. So many awful quick time events. These fights are ass. Oh, man. I could see very much not enjoying this game. <laughs> Which issue? The issue of the quick time events. <laughs> Get it? Because which is a. Okay, we're good. That's all I got.
Oh, I fucked up the quick time event because it was in slow motion. <laughs> To me, impossible. Well, I just put it through the Fucking ring cycle. Holy shit. <laughs> What's the matter, sweetie? Afraid of something, are you? Afraid? Me? This is a waste of my time. You're still not ready. Mommy. Unleashing the beast within allows you to transform into an animal form and unlock mysterious magical powers. For instance, if one were to unleash the power of a panther and transform into the beast, they would be granted speed as fast as the wind and would be able to surmount even the most dangerous of cliffs with ease. within however she wants me to call her Forget which one but the game has the qte prompts on the edges of the screens so and i played on playstation 3 triangle was on the top X on the bottom circle was on the right and square was on the left and he didn't get much indication the qte was going on oh for god of war that'll be interesting i know god of war is pretty qte heavy in the first ones Okay. Oh, free double kill. I'll take that. Miss Kyle, they call me. QT, yeah. Yeah, not all novel concepts are good concepts. I'm just gonna throw that out. As someone who was playing through RE5 and thinking, man, this game is awesome they cut out qtes entirely before realizing it was simply because the mode we were playing on didn't have them tough secular torsion was also a novel concept the first time it happened Hey, Billy. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? <laughs> Meow.
Yo, there's people here. Successfully thawed. Um, there's a reason the series abandoned them. What time for so they come back? Well, the ancient city of Vigrid is largely inaccessible, surrounded by mountains on one side and the sea to the other. While at first glances may seem incredibly inconvenient, it is said that Vigrid flourished primarily due to the presence of strong spirit energy within the land underfoot. The Umber Witches and Lumen Sages, each with their respective control over light and dark. Oh, there's my back. Must have needed a land replete with this spirit energy to enable them to oversee history. The waves of time have modernized the grid, spurring rapid developments. However, its residents still avoid outside contact, preferring to maintain their own culture and religious outlook. The only link with the outside world is a single long distance rail line. Simply riding this train apply, requires an application to be submitted to Vigrid authorities, and a rigorous background check is required prior to issuance of an entrance visa, which must be carried at all times. Once disembarking from the train, there is a further police search after which one is granted admission to the city. It seems that what allows Vigrid the ability to be so strict regarding immigration is the seemingly close link between the Vigridian authorities and the Ithavol group, a conglomerate based in Vigrid. Yet, proving this link will require further investigation. Why did it turn into a cat right then? Why not? Provide a reason I shouldn't have turned into a cat. That didn't already make sense. Alright, torture attack for existing death. Thank you. Absolutely kicking the shit out of him before I got ludicrously hurt. There you go. She'd do great on MILF Manor. Alrighty. You know what? I'm kind of tired. Maybe we don't need to keep streaming tonight. Oh, some beast-like foot... Oh, okay. Redition to an Iron Maiden. Oh, it's the kid again. Stop with the double teaming Fucking body shakes 
Christ. There we go. Where are you, buddy? There you are. There we go. Fucking perish. Please don't be those people. <laughs> there you go. There's so much happening on screen at one time. What do you mean? I exercise my right to remain silent. Oh boy. I didn't know just punting the motherfucker into the next age was a viable strategy. Hello, little child. doesn't actually want me to do that, does it? The fucking super speed this? No, it does. Did it go so far? I mean, I'm gonna die here. Oh, 
Because if you stop moving as the cougar, you become Bayonetta again. Son of a fucking bitch. You need to be the cougar? I think so. The seal type, but yeah. Unless something's in this rock. I was testing you. You passed. According to plan, I'm a gamer. What can I say? Why do you think I do such a good job writing game reviews? I'm basically a game journalist. Oh my god. Everyone carries within them a record of their evolution as a being. Since time immemorial, it is this inner knowledge that the magical arts call upon when a practitioner uses the transformation technique known as the beast within. While there is very little documentation regarding this technique, it is comparatively easy to guess at its workings. It is even easier when one considers how many works of art depicting the condition fill museums to this very day. These works capture the very moment when a witch transforms herself into an animal. Present day interpretations never seem to escape the realm of dismissing these works as an artist daydream. However, when viewed from a different perspective, they are an important reference point in researching the magical arts. These pictures illustrate the unbelievable transformation of a number witch via the most special of means, seeing her take the form of various animals. The witches were able to freely use this technique, transforming into beasts or an incredible speed or birds to send themselves soaring into the sky. SRN, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't allowed to uh, reference the fact that that existed, I thought. Hey, look! They're back! Hey, fuck you, Mr. I do like about this is anytime I die I'm always very confident it's just me but 
Like there's no there's no time. I'm like, oh man, the fucking hitbox of that thing screwed. No, it's just I need to get good. Which is the sign of a fun action RPG. I'm gonna die. Nope. Survive with zero health. Oh, so oh, they're back. I say action RPG, I'm an action game. Oh. This was a strategic death to maintain the difficulty. The their their answer seems to be to be bring these fuckers back. Ah, I dodged too soon. Oh my god. Precious skull, thank you. Oh my god. That's one of my friend's names on Steam and he just went live. <laughs> or not went live, sorry. Which I, I'm just gonna take the death, I think. He just turned Steam on. Gun emoji. Oh. I'm fighting Nemesis right now in RE3.
Fuck it, there we go. Man just won't stop coming back. There we go. <laughs> Reiterate. Fuck oh, these guys. The shadows remain cast. They really do be existing. Your greatest enemy is yourself. Your second greatest enemy is these claw bird things. This is a game that I think if I had played it in 2010 would have been like, oh my God, this may be one of the greatest games ever made. But just suffers from a lack of enemy variety sometimes. Stylistically, it fucking kills it though. Like it has enemy variety and then it then it doesn't play back to back in 2022 i actually think i'll really like bayonetta 2. i'm liking this one so far but i think i'm gonna like two more or maybe it's You know, that's not true at all. It's not suffering from lack of enemy variety. It's just not using any of the enemies. Cause like, I mean, look at that. They put three of those little archer guys that were a boss earlier and I absolutely ripped them apart. But if they throw the fucking double bird claw dudes. Hmm. Two's a lot easier. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Huh. Vile poison slogan fills the area underneath the destroyed bridge. And wants me to do it wants me to come the beast within bum 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 what are you boys doing in here are you hiding something from me Come on. Gives you way more. As long as it doesn't reuse those fucking things over and over again. I'm a happy man. <laughs> Oh. 
only one to play savior. But I suppose I can make an exception and kill all of you. Just this once, of course. Just fucking beat the shit out of him. <laughs> So I see that she has a health bar on the little... Because we are... Man, he has a health bar. We know how good I am at protection missions. Oh, way too early on the dodge. They have actual threat priority? Yeah, I mean... Oh, I'm dodging so early. Oh, and then I'm dodging late. Oh my god. I'm gonna deserve this loss. Never mind, I snuck it out. Oh, she took no damage. Oh, cool. I got the achievement for that. <clears throat> world it's cockroaches and crying babies well a crying baby cockroach would be truly terrible so don't you dare cry take the gun <laughs> Fine. you've got to be a strong little one to survive in a place like this what's your name anyway Cereza. You're not from Figrid, are you, little one? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from my house. Well, now, I'll hazard a guess this isn't your home. So what on earth are you doing here? My daddy told me to come here. And whereabouts is this daddy of yours? He was at work, but now I don't know where he's gone. I want to go home. <coughs> I'll just drag you along wherever I go, little one. So you'd better not be getting attached to me. Yes, mummy. <laughs> Come now, little one. I'll help you out of here. But that's all. That's no. it. No more. <laughs> and you have to promise there'll be no crying. A single tear and you'll be crying alone. Got it? Okay, mommy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, she's adorable.
beautiful. She's also tiny. Look how tall Bayonetta is. And she has her back arched in like a fucking semicircle. Oh my god. <laughs> tall and small. The dynamic duo. Her heels are as tall as the child's shin. I've known Cesaro for one minute. <laughs> if anything happened for her, it'd kill everyone in this. I love the Bioshock meme. Or for Bi I think it's for Bioshock 2. I've never, so I've never really gotten very far in Bioshock 1 and I've never played 2. Um, but where it's, what is it? It's like game. Will you protect the child? And the, it's you. And it says, um, let me see if I can find it. There's another one of these for Yakuza Kiwami. Um, I, I gotta find this now. Here it is. 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 We're going to remedy it. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna play those and infinite. I've I I will say with infinite. I I did watch a playthrough of infinite when it came out. Take that for what you will. I <laughs> and then I watched parts of zeros. Um, hold on. This is the meme. Playing any game in the Bioshock trilogy, you now have an emotional attachment to this surrogate daughter. Me. I thought this was a diesel punk shooter. You promised to love her. I don't think I'm your target demographic. Your daughter is now in mortal peril. And then the fucking blurry Kermit with a gun meme. Oh my god. You can put Kermit with a gun under just about 90% of all of texts. And it becomes my favorite meme in the world. This <laughs> is ludicrous. In recent days, Vigrid has seen the rise of the Ithavol group, a conglomerate whose rapid development has changed the face of the city. Their man-made island off the coast of Vigrid, Isle de Sol, is a clear... Man-made island? Ace Combat reference? Is a clear example of their technological style. It is modern metropolis, home to many residents. However, their fight from the old city has led to the offshore historical district's rapid decline, a process that will likely end in the areas becoming ruins free of inhabitants. Those who live on Isle de Sol and those who have remained in the old city all worship the Laguna gods who are in the heart, who are the heart of their faith. In many ways, the, like sun worship, this faith has been at the people's core since ancient times and forms the very heart of their cultural development. It is said the Ithavol group itself was developed in conjunction with the Laguna and its CEO is held up as the person, paragon of Laguna worship. The living symbol of the people's faith, he is purported to be descended from the said to be annihilated Lumen sages. Although I cannot confirm the veracity of this claim. At any rate, the devotion which people hold towards, towards the Ithavol group is without question. Big Grid's appearance is not the only part of the city to have completely changed. The ancient faith in the Laguna, uh, Laguna is now inexorably linked to the Ithavol group as it pushes forward its modernizations. This, thus, the city has lost its previous visage to be replaced at alarming speed, and all with the apparent consent of the Laguna worshipping Bigridians. We have negative health right now. Also, the daughter has a health bar. And there I die. <sighs> we leave with the child, the first enemy hits us, and now we've abandoned the child. <laughs> Do you move faster to catch up? No. Leon! Help! Le Oh, you know what we need to play? Whoa! Why can't I hurt these things?
have a lamppost. I didn't abandon the child. I'm still in the same area. And you know, the child's fine. Improves the infrastructure. Maybe fenced off with the fence. Oh. Stop hitting the child! Have you no manners? Really do anything about it right now. Purgatorio, center of the Trinity. One of the unique aspects of the religion in this town is the people's belief that the world is actually made up of three unique realms layered on top of each other human world, Inferno, and Paradiso, the Trinity of Realities. However, the wavelengths of the spirit energy in each of these realities is different, and the inhabitants of each are unable to interfere with the other's affairs. Despite the fact the worlds are layered, it's said that the Lumen Sages and Number of Witches had the unique ability to pass them to a realm known as Purgatorio to tr and travel amongst the Trinity. It is believed that the Witches and Sages each made contracts with the Masters of the Light and Dark Worlds and can use special abilities granted by them by the mas to them by the Masters. Underlying all of this, though, is the presence of the Trinity of Realities. Even during the Witch Hunts, it seems the, those be suspected of being Witches were lured into Purgatorio. An act the people called being spirited away, and their presence in the no man's land was used as justification for further acts of persecution. To further explain Purgatorio, one must understand that those within the realm are able to, unable to see or touch those in the human world, nor are humans in their own world able to intervene in the affairs of Purgatorio. Moreover, when we identify as material objects may have different appearances in their different realities, yet when these items are destroyed in one world, they will be destroyed in all worlds. This may explain why many place, why why many place religious interpretations upon the phenomenon of unexpected unexplained destruction that occurs during their everyday lives. Oh, come back here. Kids loving it here. Hey. <laughs> That's probably how you got lost to begin with. Great. Mommy. <laughs> Don't worry. It's always scary the first time you see them. So, where was I? Oh, yes. Your kind invitation. I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. Oh, what 
What a lovely tea party. And dancing, too. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Watch and learn. What I don't god damn it. Sarah, I need you to start using your hair in order to summon beasts of the underworld. Perfectly stable child care. Not dramatic at all. You know she's going to become a fucking witch, right? Like, come on. She'll be fine. See, being swiped at by the angel. You may call it dangerous. I call it on the job training. I don't, that should have hit me. I love how she's still following me. Hey there. Perish. You got to teach him to fight angels early. Yeah, we've all seen Star Wars. You gotta start the apprentices off at like three. There we go. Okay. Gatcher? Gatcher? No, well, not you. Don't know what that is. Fuck yeah. Honestly, I love the angel designs in the series, how they're just uh, as disgusting and horrified as demons, but wear marble start armor to hide it. I really love the... Yeah, I agree. I think the whole... Uh, I don't think the whole game design is really good. But everything... I mean, especially for how old this one is. It, oh, it's great. 
Oh, hold on. Why? Why is that me? And I love RA4. Out. Oh boy. Oh. Whoops. Oh, here we go. You know, I don't know what Platinum is on whenever they make a game, but I hope they're providing a lot of it to their, uh, to their writers and producers and, you know, all of their design staff. Really accurate angels are absolutely horrifying. There's a reason they say be not afraid. <laughs> hey, don't panic. <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> this is the scariest moment of my life.
Do I give me a bitch and happy? Don't keep it on the back. Oh, good job there. Thank you. <laughs> Every once in a while, I have a good moment. The grid has long held the notion that the world is comprised of a trinity of realities, Paradiso, Inferno, and the human world. However, since the era of the Umber or the witch hunts where the Umber witches met with total annihilation, the Gridians have held that Paradiso, the world of the light, is the most perfect for those realms and have worshipped as such. Yet, as normal human beings are unable to experience this heaven, the Vigridian's feeling regarding Paradiso manifests themselves in various ways. Even the Porta de Paradiso, ruins of which remain to this day, were born of this faith and placed around the city as an act of Paradiso worship. These structures, stone discs three meters in diameter, were said to represent portals into Paradiso itself. It was believed that when the gods extended the, the people their helping hand, they would do so via the portals, guiding them to Paradiso. Thus, the Porta were placed in spiritually powerful locations. I have one more interesting aside. Within Paradiso, there are said to be secret rooms known as Alfheim, where angels gather and hold their banquets. The port of the Paradiso, created by man, are said to mimic the entrances to these Alfheim. Legend is it that if someone were to stumble across one of those portals while in Purgatorio, they may enter an Alfheim, upon which the angels would entertain the lost visitor and bless them justly. What the hell? Where's the girl? I guess I don't have to escort her right now. Prominence Bridge. As part of the Ithaval group's plans for the further development of a grid, the man-made Isle of Isle of the Soul, Island of Isle of the Soul. A new urban center was constructed and outfitted with a new highway, stretching a total of 41.295, 26.218 miles. As expected, traveling this highway, which links the major areas of a grid to the island, requires vigorous checks and is useful in limited to Begridian. In, uh, its usefulness is limited to Begridian authorities, interval group materials, transports, and a group select group of authorized personnel. The bridge connecting the island to the mainland is an enormous overseas suspension bridge. The structure supports the br supporting the bridge. Wires are shaped like the bright solar flares that shoot out from the sun's surface, giving the name the crossing its name, Prominence Bridge. It is truly a symbol of the modernity that has come to the grid. He's back. Boo, boo. Oh, and there's the girl. Mummy! Mummy? You're a mom? You? Come now, Cheshire. Look at me. Do I look like I have any interest in children? Now making them? Well, that's another story. Whoa, whoa! You're getting the wrong idea. <laughs> I mean, it might be the right idea, but not right now, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust in their dated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Oh. Yes, the island. Lovely place, isn't it? Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? You're a sad, sick woman, you know that? I was her age when you killed my father. Wait. No. You couldn't. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You killed her parents! Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished, and you never know when a monster may sneak up on you.
No! How can she see me? <laughs> you have the sash, sassy British child. It, the kid is so British, too. <laughs> No, I'm gonna keep getting stone awards. Oh, it's fine. Man just wants to avenge his dead, but he's just way too horny for it. Ironic typo there. His dad, yeah. <laughs> he's like, uh, oh, wait a sec. Vengeance. Vengeance. A lollipop. How about? Let me see this meme. What's with the sassy lost child? Oh boy. The cardinal virtue of temptation. No, that didn't say temptation. That said temperance, didn't it? Yep, that said temperance. It's fine. Reading reading is not my strong suit. You here for business or pleasure? Either way, I'll hook you up. New technique. Try unleashing the bat within, the crow within. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Reading's hard. <laughs> Block of scattering bats mitigating any damage you've taken. Oh, immediate. That's dodge. Right trigger. You know, we're going to do the crow one. <laughs> bonked looky here i'm just i'm just unable to read correctly okay there's nothing to do with horny it has to do with illiteracy <laughs> I like the design of this one. Temperantia. I feel like a fucking celebrity in this town. <laughs> See that? Everyone rushes at me like crazed fans. They still 
haven't figured out that I don't give autographs. Ask a wasp, Kasagi. Diara na kichinoka, o print, o si, ejo. Ma horena, nerifili o print suli. Donas to gama, o voras to stamps. Much for the talkative types. How about we have a little fun instead? You did plan on having fun with me, right? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for pillow talk afterwards. <laughs> Yeet! Okay, that probably wasn't what I was supposed to do. I see these little orbs on it. We gotta break the little bubbles on it. And then with Mr. Stark, he doesn't feel so good. All of his fingers are purple now. It's usually a sign of frostbite. Be careful. Ow. I think I'm supposed to deal damage. Me off again. Was there a jump I'm missing? Or yeah, he's like, I need to make sure this thing is gone. Like that time I saw it. Please, please, thank you. Oh, I see. Ripping his arm off? Jesus. I 
Oh no, he's been disarmed. Oh, I'm dead. I lied. I have one more. And now I have no more healing items. Punch until he's off. And I gotta get the evade in and then... Become Panther. Alright. Out. Owie. That's not dealing damage. Um, oh, shields. I'm gonna have to do this fight again. Please, can I hit it? No, I'm dead. Oh, that's too bad. This is a good one. The shadow re. The shadow re oh. Oh, I start here? Oh, that's generous. They call this one hard. Do people actually call this one super difficult? I mean, I say the quick time events can be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but the actual combats, I mean, it's platinum, right? Like, you know, the game's going to be absolutely fucking stellar. Oh god, we're fucking him up. This poor demon's one ugly fellow. Oh, man. 
greed on my part. Squish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, nope. <laughs> I didn't make any time for pillow talk. I didn't kill it. Never mind. <laughs> The fire electric tins, maybe. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't call that hard. I would just make those. I would just say that those enemies are so fucking annoying. You basically have to fight them constantly in witch time. Damn pre mouth fuck. Fire! I say I can't just not I can't shoot him once leave him on the battlefield here root root 666 you guys think it, it's related to the hell number? It's not the hell number, it's the number of the beast. You really want to make a deal with the devil? <laughs> Relax. I'm just fucking with you. Hold on, new meme, new meme. I can't believe my girlfriend is a biblically accurate angel. Honey, what do you think of this dress? I think the blood, the crying blood really makes it. You love Shen comics? They're pretty good. Oh, 
Umbran Spear. RB twice real quick. One crow form. Dive into a nearby enemy. Well, sure. Heel stomp. I'm moving LS backwards to forward. Press B. <laughs> Boom. that one <laughs> all right what time is it all right we'll do one more i might save in the middle of this one i'm gonna end pretty much exactly at midnight tonight because tomorrow i'm going so late I can call a cab to get me to the island. Oh my heart. <laughs> Got me figured out, don't you? We journalists have to have some detective skills, you know. You're after a gemstone, and that stone has to be in the Ithaval group <laughs> building. I'm headed there too. How odd. You seem to know where I'm going before I do. Yet you don't seem to know how to drive a car in a straight line. What am I? A chauffeur? Cheshire, do you have any idea what prolonged walking in this salty air will do to my hair? Well, I tend to use some product when I go to the beach. <laughs> There appear to be angels on them. I'm getting the distinct impression I'm not wanted on that island. But I love it when people play hard to get. You know... The horn guys could just fuck off, and I don't think I'd care about losing them either.
Who else would do this? It's true. Who else could signal my arrival then? Oh, I can punch him back? Oh, hold on. Goodbye. Um, you. Oh, onto the road you go. Combat's just so good. Like, it's so clean. Like, it's, like, I don't know. I feel like with certain action games, I always struggle to figure out how to get the combat, like, attacks and stuff to really work. Oh, hello. Multiple joys. Oh, hello. Cars still moving on the road. gonna take my one by one. Oh. There's one. Remember to stay on the median as the not imposed or impede traffic. Holy shit. You weren't kidding about these guys. God. Um, hi, how was your stream? I hope it went well. Thank you, Soy. How was Super Mario RPG? Did other people make you drink or has your chat failed me? He deserves the double shout out. If you guys don't know Crit, you should absolutely go follow him. When you want to talk about streamers that are actually good at it, it's him. I'm getting better at identifying the car approaching sounds, but I'm not perfect. God help me. with the car beautiful free sober stream all told very nice except by very nice i mean not nice at all ironic oh well okay i was looking at chat <laughs>
I try to see entertaining. You absolutely are. How's the mommy? I mean, or er, no, you just whole chest. Come on now. Very good. Some of the enemy types, of course, mandatory driving segment. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Um. just about to say I can't believe they're not gonna make us drive Twenty four miles, right? You gotta be there soon. This section's just twenty four minutes long. Oh, it can't have been right? I should have been doing that. <laughs> now we need a rail shooter segment. We'll collect them all of the uh, old school action game. I didn't actually mean to jump into that, but it's funny that it works. I, I can't, e I can't even see what's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you all. <laughs> box okay
Is there another tunnel? There's another tunnel. Oh, island, are you getting any closer yet? I can't take my eyes off the road. Oh my god. Off ramp! <laughs> of course. Oh. Average band at the moment. All right, cool. Um, hello again, chat. I'll read through in a sec. You're Russian driving from Crimea in 2024. doing well braves come on we're gonna great yeah, timer uh my favorite bring in a mini game collection go Woo! one of my favorite series love the insanity and style the series has driving is not its forte though i think there was one enemy so far i don't enjoy fighting um, and, I, and it shows up like six times, which is unfortunate. But other than that, I really loved it. Actual Chain is pretty bad. Motorcycle Segment 2. Love Actual Chain. One of those times I'm glad I gave up on this game and watched someone else beat it. <laughs> oh, no. It's a lot of fun. I think like a solid nine. You're not defending the car at this point. Those two are fucking dead. Was I supposed to be defending the car the whole time? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Luca, this is Bayonetta. There's no such thing as overdoing it. Oh, no. That was the goal? Whoops. I was just driving. I'm dying here. Nope, I'm dead. I think. Wait on that. I did defend the car. Ah, well, see, defending is too easy. No way in hell was she defending the car. Oh, absolutely not. The car is a non issue. Oh, is it actually? <clears throat> oh, I thought it was. Uh... Fuck me. Y'all want to fucking chill?
Motherfucker is fat. Just take ship damage to return the favor. There we go. whole series back to back to back probably not i only own this one so i wanted to get this one done beat it and then i think i'll pick up bayonetta i think i'm definitely gonna play all three of them um i think i'm gonna pick up bayonetta 2 but i wanna i need to finish i need to finish a couple resident evils i'm so close i have like for me to be happy with what we've done in operate or in um resident evil we need to do like what is it? Code Veronica 8. Whatever the weird spin-off game was that's still in the survival horror version, it's not a rail shooter. I think it's Survivors or Outbreak and Revelations 1 and 2. We're really close to being done like what I'll consider all the good Resident Evil so that I don't have to worry about anything other than challenge runs then for those. I kind of want to do that. This is only five and they're not long. And then I want to do Metal Gear. So maybe I'll sprinkle these in. What about the Sarah's a game? Is there a Sarah's a game? I'll play that too. Yeah. I only say two and three because the only games I know of are one, two, and three. If there's more, yeah, fuck it. I'll do that. <laughs> Look, it's not hard for me to add a game to my list. It's playing it you gotta worry about. Hoping that would be a double and I would get four or 50. Um, one, two, and three with a spin off with a different gameplay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the um, right. It's kind of like chibi a little bit, like, um, or at least more than the regular ones are. Definitely a lot more animated styled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd play that. I'd play that. As always, right? I can never promise when. Right. Is this the last chapter of the game? Because if this is in the just yes or no will suffice. Um, I just. It's the last chapter. I'll beat the game tonight. If it's not the last chapter. Yeah, a couple more left. All right, then we're going to we're going to. Hold off and we'll continue on the Monday. Oh, cool. Um, more like a storybook. Haven't played that one. Yeah, I remember seeing one of the Nintendo Direct. Um, because I always watch the Nintendo Directs with great fear. <laughs> Although this next one, we can watch with less well still a little fear i'm not i'm not safe i'm not safe yet <laughs> just i tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> oh man oh true thank you sundown important t swizzle thing double save everything 
Oh, you mean my my top one? Oh, 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 oh. Eh. <laughs> What's happening tomorrow? So. Tomorrow. I know what you sorry, I figured it out. Tomorrow. I don't I don't know. I don't know how much you know or like about my street, like any of that, so I'm gonna assume you know nothing. Basically, I normally play Fire Emblem on the weekends, right? Thursday through Sunday, I play Fire Emblem. And we've been playing through every Fire Emblem game from the first one to we're on three houses now. Um, mostly in order. Remakes instead of the original games, right? Basically, I've been doing this for two years. Four nights a week. Fire Emblem only. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow is the final map of the final game we have left in the marathon. So it's a big deal because it's been 269 streams over the past almost two years. If we had taken two more weeks, it would have been two full years. <clears throat> No, 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 that's not if they announce a new Fire Emblem, that's different. That's 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 there's a there's a great Fire Emblem Marathon 2, but it's not really a Fire Emblem Marathon. It's like three old games, the new one, both Warriors games and Tokyo Mirage sessions. There are 10 FB games being released today. Ban them. Ban them. <laughs> Halfway through the FE, yeah. So you know how I talked about earlier, like when I was initially brainstorming stuff for tomorrow, how I was like, maybe I'll get an interview. Yeah, I got Kaga. Kaga's gonna announce fifteen new Fire Emblems. <laughs> we start again. <laughs> Why'd you play Thracia five times? I didn't play Thracia five times. I've played it 11 times. It's my favorite game by far. <laughs> In terms of this marathon, at least. I like I like Thracia, I like Seven, and I like Fates. Those are my three favorite games. But Thracia is absolutely my favorite of the marathon. That'll be a fun one. I'm very excited for Tokyo Mirage Sessions. But anyway, yeah, so we're doing that. And then on Sunday... On Sunday, super exciting. We're playing a game that's not on my list that I've wanted to play for a long time, but it's a secret that I will announce tomorrow. It's an SNES RPG. That's all the hints you'll get. You're free to guess. We've had a couple good ones so far, but uh, super excited for that as well. that sub menu return to title screen bayonetta. bayonetta you fucking lunatic i just like thracia <laughs> it's a it's a good game brent how do i turn off steam big picture mode without there we go nope cancel how do I turn on? I hate big picture mode. Have I said that before? Power. Exit big picture mode. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I like. Anyway, have a good night. Great stream. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Good seeing you. For everyone, as announced, tomorrow, big night. Long stream. Probably going to be about. Minimum six hours, I would assume. Probably close to eight. So, I'm going to try and get some rest today. If you have one already and you're new here, hey, consider following. That's a cool thing you can do. Go follow Crit if you don't. He's an amazing streamer. Thank you again for the raid. Uh, we'll beat the rest of this on... Monday? Monday. So, be excited.
<laughs> a couple things and then a couple sellout things and then we'll go thank you all i hope you had fun if you're new here hey consider following i have a discord right there if you ever want to be part or join in the conversation whatever's going on or schedule updates or whatever uh youtube for both vods and edited content there and finally i'm in a band check us out and see with all those links i managed to bury crit trying to sell me out go follow crit um we're gonna raid jordy who's currently playing kingdom hearts this is always a lot of fun to watch so thank you all have a wonderful rest of your night day evening afternoon morning whatever it may be remember stay safe stay healthy i hope everyone has a lot of fun until i see you next and i'll talk to you soon peace out